Houston, Houston, did you hear me? Houston, we got a problem. The students in Zamorano didn't know about recycling water in the space. So we are going to explain them how we do this process. Hi, my name is Ronnie Barrera and today we are going to talk about the things that astronaut needs for the travel spaces. Uh, the most important things about these travels are sometimes the simplest, like food and water. So, uh, according to Ecovidrio in 2018, uh, they say that each astronaut consumes 3.5 uh, liters per person in a day. And they also say that for a crew of four astronauts, they need 18 tons of water per year. So the engineers from the NASA use a catalyst oxidation a reactor system to explain it in a simple way is take the water, apply high temperature to the liquid, this eliminate the rest of the breath. I'm going to explain you about the function of oxidation reactor system. First a start up the line burn and ignited rising the temperature for catalytic action activation. Then the system booster found forces all the gases into the environment into the inlet of the head exchanger. In addition, in the space, they recycle the pee and water, used for other circumstances. The heat exchanger preheats the incoming emissions by transferring energy from hot, clean exhaust stream exciting oxider. The best gases uh, these gases pass through a high efficiency line burner where the temperature is rised to the required set point temperature ranging from 500 to 6 and 500 depending on the process emissions a, a wire bed may be added to the radiant sun in the burner chamber where contaminants can be trapped and protected that catalyst bed then enter to the catalyst chamber and pass through the catalyst bed where the BOC volatile organic compounds are destructed and his efficiency is in excess of 99%. Catalytic oxidation reaction converts VOC into CO2, water, vapor, and energy, causing the temperature to rise across the catalyst bed. The hot clean exhaust strings passes around the counter flow, head exchanger can range from 60 to 75%. This level of thermal efficiency provides energy, preheat the incoming process emission, minimizing full consumption from the burner system and this system lasting approximately three years and this saves a cost of approximately four eight thousand dollars per liter to the space program of the united states i saw according to concrete team ci in 2017 